Hello friends, my name is Ariel Mail and welcome back to some more Gran Turismo 3 Ace, but today we're continuing on with a Let's Play. This is episode 53, and in today's episode we are going to go and race Altezas again, because that went so amazingly fun last time, so we're going to do it again. For that, of course, we need a Toyota Alteza, uh, and yes. we will buy the better of the two, and I bought the last one in yellow, so I'm buying this one in blue. Yeah. He clearly did not say to... Gran Turismo 2 in the last take. <laughs> yes. Nah. That didn't happen. Nope. That never happened. I love how no. you actually did not to, to make that rhyme and sing. Welcome to my life. This is how I get entertainment now. I sing. <laughs> you should have seen. You sing for entertainment, boy! You didn't see the GT2 stream. That was literally a man losing his insanity. Losing his insanity. <laughs> losing my <laughs> religion. Lose your insanity. Insanity. That's me in the corner. That's me. Can I turbo it? Yes, I oh, can. Turbo it. Oh yes. Hell yeah. Let's turbo it because turbo Lexus. Boost. Yes. Power. Oh, Nothing. I should mention we have guests uh, as always, and you know their names. I'll include. I'm literally. No, you don't. What I'm going to you do is I'm literally just going to include an essay of everyone's names who's ever been in one of these videos, and that will just be at the bottom of the description for all these at some Sound. point. Anyways, we have everyone, two. Perfect. We have two. Everyone people. watching just has to. Everyone watching just gets a quiz on who ha they have to guess everyone that's in this part. Yes. Anyways, uh, oh. we have two new faces. We have Torrent, who's Hi. English, and. English. Yes. Boost, are you still here? Yes, I am. Excellent. The lead well, singer, <laughs> the lead singer of acclaimed cover bands, The Found Prophets, and Boost for My Valentine is here. The Boost Found Prophets. <laughs> and he's on 57 subscribers. Did you just say 50 cent subscribed? 57 oh, subscribers. Right. <laughs> he's, yep. he's making the big numbers. I was going to say, you, if my boy 50 cents here, big up. <laughs> My oh, you'd be, oh, you'd be taken off into the hemispheres of 50 people. <laughs> yes. Yay. 57 subscribers. Go subscribe to Boost and Ethanol today. Road to 75 subscribers. Um, Go to be fair, I'm actually going. Do it. He, prom he promised if he gets 75 subscribers on the live stream himself. I don't know. Go subscribe to the small up-and-comer Kelly Sund with 11,000 subscribers. Also, we need one thing before we kick off today's episode. Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Perfect! Super Advance! Fake Super Advance! Kinda Super Advance. They're Yokohama <laughs> Advan. Yes. That. Anyways, oil change because oil change. Unfortunately, that you can't, just... can't put wings. Oil change, bro. Those wheels just lit my fucking boy pussy on fire. 448 horsepower. That isn't oh too my. bad. What did the last one Not get? Perfect. Where is the last one? There's the other one that I bought. That one had 280. And before you ask, why didn't you use that one in this episode? Because I'm why stupid. Why, why didn't you use it? Anyways, let's do this. We are doing the Alteza Championship. We go to Deep Forest Raceway, Special Stage Route 11, Grand Valley Speedway, Tokyo R246, and Monte Carlo. Let's go. That's the literal why noise in Alteza makes. Huh? <laughs> You didn't answer the question, why aren't you using the other one? Because I'm dumb. I did answer the question, but... The question... Don't say questions, because you remind me of that fucking YouTube poop from yesterday. Well, I, here's the thing. <laughs> did I don't you know see what that, Thunder? About. What, the one that Executioner posted? Yeah, it was just like, stop que I'm gonna stop questioning the questions that I'm questioning. Or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's just fucking... Oh my god, 10,000 red line, hello. Ooh. How you Hello, 10,000 red line. What's I wish you could put a wing on it. Oh my god, third person camera, why? <laughs> did I use yeah. third person camera at some point? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe oh, you man. did. I usually use first person for this game because I thought that was a fucking Android phone alarm going off for a second and I was gonna say. That hey. is that well that was a notification <laughs> on my phone, so. Oh hey. Nice. Tell you what, I'll give you your reward cookie when you finish this race. Can I make a, a, a slight thing? No. no. Is it me no. or does this car look really weird when it doesn't have Lexus logos on it? Yeah. Yes, it does. Yes. It looks like it, does, actually. it literally just says Alteza. 
Well, I mean, there is a spe here's the thing. It has a special badge for it. Yeah, on the front. The Alteza, like it, it has it on the rear too. You just can't see it very well. Toyota Alteza has got a very special badge. Like it, it should have Toyota logos. That would have been nice. They felt the need to make a special badge for it. It's just basically a case of why. Yeah. Let me look this up actually, because I don't know what it actually looks like. Looks like AIDS. No, it doesn't. <laughs> well then. It looks like it looks like a Toyota Altezza. That's all I can see. I remember the last Altezza. The only Altezza I've seen in real life was one on Autodrade that was purple and it had GTR badges on it. And I'm not making that up. Oh no! What the frick? The ba the custom badge for the Toyota Altezza literally says Altezza. Well, yeah. I mean, if you're gonna make a custom badge, you may as well. <laughs> It's not like yeah, but this is. It's not like it's, it's gonna say to... fucking Sinclair C5 is the best on it, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Sinclair C5. I don't oh, care. We've reached. As far as I'm concerned, we've reached Subaru Subaru 360 levels of redundancy. Oh god. Subaru Subaru 360. I bought yeah, the 20. I found but the 22B Angel. in GT2. I'm happy. That's enough for yeah. me. But Angel, there's this in the Toyota Toyota Seven. No, it's the, t it's the Toyota, Toyota, Alteza, Alteza. Alteza, RS Alteza, RS200, RS200. Oh, yeah, Alteza, exactly. your Alteza. This is the you one, well Japan Here's got. the funny part, now that I think about it, you could call it a Toyota Echo and would it be wrong? <laughs> hmm. I will say this is the Japanese version of the Alteza, the mm -hmm. AS200 that's in this game is technically the European oh. one. Or the good version. Well, this is the four cylinder, that one of the ones the six cylinder. The IS200 is a four-pot, yes. Mm -hmm. No, the IS200 in Europe is a six-pot. Really? Yeah. They, they yep. made a smaller version of that? Yeah, it is a two-liter V6 with 150 horsepower. That's what the IS200 in this game is. <laughs> they made the v they made a V6 version of one of these. Okay. Well, I think it was an I6, but. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. This thing was designed for an I6, so it could have V6 space. On it. By the what way, was it in uh, America? Was the 300? The Lexus. We only got the 300. It was the three liter. Two uh, JZ pop. Yeah. It was the yeah. It's the uh, it's a two JZ three liter. Supposedly. What do you mean supposedly? It's a, well, it's not really a two J because it's not like got turbos and it's also detuned horribly and it's attached to a wretched gearbox. But other than that. I'm yeah. sorry. Does the two J imply it has to be turbo? <laughs> no, it's the yeah, naturally no. aspirated two J. Everything. No, everything. Wait. Has so to is be the Z the by... turbo one? Listen, everything the has to be charged by a GTE is the turbo. Uh, listen, exactly. you guys can GTE make the you guys can make the argument about turbo charge and actually aspirate it all you want. I'm just gonna be sitting here driving my water bottle charged car. Yes. So a Honda Clarity. It gets, it gets to be 95 miles to the meter. I oh, don't is say that. Toyota, is, it, is it the Toyota Mirai? Don't say that. You're reminding me of that fucking Birdemic film. Oh, Where, like, the guy in it, it's like, uh, <laughs> what is it? Uh, the quote is, I love my Mustang. It's a plug in hybrid. It gets 100 miles to the gallon. <laughs> it's like, oh, what? God. <laughs> well, you know, that, you know they're doing that just to take the piss. Yeah, I know, but the best bit about it is it's an 05 GT. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like, oh. It's so unplug in hybrid. It's so Mustang. That's basically he got he got secret it. he got those secret hybrid modifications from Tim Westwood. LPG baby, LPG. Remember when LPG <clears throat> was a thing? No, no, I don't know what LPG no. Is. Uh, here it was kind of a thing. It's like um, dual fuel, but the problem the problem is everyone got scared because uh, basically you put a can like a massive canister of gas in your boot lid, and basically if anyone rear ends you, then kaboom kaboom. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, I don't know what I, yeah, I think I remember. I think I remember the term LPG before. Uh, dual fuel, they call it in some places. Dual, dual. Here's the thing about dual, dual fuel. It's not really dual fuel. Like, uh, I, I'm gonna look that up because I can't remember what it's supposed to be term, but I think it's methane. Um, well, yeah, fuck, that's something fuck right. you. <laughs> Liquefied petroleum gas. That's the one. What? Yeah. It's a, so it's oh, hot. it's a propane. No, it's a pro it's a propane fuel. Yeah, you put propane a propane tank in the back of your car. Yeah, it's basic. Yeah, you. I guess you would fill it up with butane if you put a propane tank in there. The third most popular automotive fuel in the world. Approximately all half of all half of all auto gas fuel passenger vehicles are 
in descending order. Turkey, South Korea, Poland, Italy, and Australia. So, I wonder if we've got... A, I know we've got some LPG vehicles here in the States, but I mean, they're mostly... The like thing is, though, trucks. it's like, it's mostly for fuel economy in, in the States. You don't... That's not a big, big concern, considering petrol's, like, just nothing. Yes, but at the same time, I'm tired of that bit, because that means we're no... Like, you know that they're considering getting rid of the Ford Fiesta now? Yeah, I heard. Why would you do such a thing? I don't know, especially when you consider apparently the Mark 7 Fiesta is the best one yet. Like, it's literally the it's literally the old one, but they've made it a little bit nicer inside, and they've made it a lot more comfy. I want American one, like 8-cylinder. I don't want no 3-cylinder. Goddamn! Next thing you know, <laughs> Ford has cancelled the focus in order to... <laughs> in order to focus on their new car. <laughs> the Ford Focus H4! <laughs> A Ford, <laughs> a Ford, Ford Focus Ford. fucked a Hummer. <laughs> and, and before the Ford 500 comes back. Ford 500. The Galaxy <laughs> 500. The God, no. Wait a minute, it did come back. It was the Ford Taurus. <laughs> they renamed the five Here's the thing, they renamed the 500 into the Taurus and the Taurus has continued. We've had the Ford 500 in our lives this entire time. Oh God. Isn't that sweet? No. <laughs> But what nah. if the Ford 500 comes back and comes back in name, and there's just like a bigger, it's just a bigger <laughs> Taurus? Today, to no, no, no. In that case, it would be a smaller Lincoln Continental. Today in Ford news, Ford has announced the Ford Ranger is coming back to the U.S. However, it won't be like the European midsize. Instead, they've decided to make a few additions to make it more safe for the American market, such as adding a 7.5 liter V8 dual twin axle rear end. Well, here's the problem. Here's the. Uh, it's here's bigger the than Kentucky. Um, I can fit my full rotor in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just realized two things. One, a Ford 500 would technically be just a Ford Crown pick. And two, we are getting the Ford Ranger again. Yeah, I know. Apparently, it's not supposed to be related to the European one, though, which sort of begs the question. No, it's the Australian the version. <clears throat> Same with the Bronco. Apparently, the Bronco might end up being like some fucking hybrid or something. <laughs> No, no, it's going to be a Ford Ranger based uh, two door SUV. I think that, no, I saw Automotive Magazine bought some out that said it might have a hybrid uh, as like the main powertrain in it because hey, let's bring the Ford well, Bronco I mean, back and make it a hybrid. <laughs> well, well, I mean, the freaking Suburban, you can get a Suburban and a hybrid, so. Oh, yeah. That is true. They should call Actually, it the Sub Country. <laughs> I just realized oh, we're on this track. With the amazing yeah, TV we've just been kind of talking about memes. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah th 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 this has fallen apart. You can see why I say this is my favorite fucking. Let this is like the let's play that I. I don't like watching it back, but like actually recording it is the most fun one because it's literally just a shit show each and every single time. <laughs> yeah, it's more of a podcast than a let's play. Pretty much. Ah! Um, <laughs> I mean, let's battle make it so good. Here's the thing. I think I think at this point you are best at uh, believe it or not podcast recording episodes because every oh, yeah. time you do the GT3 Let's Plays and uh, the ETCC podcast, we just have an absolute blast. And I hope your audience enjoys it. Yeah, we put yes. a lot of work into yeah. being absolute. This morons. is grand. Uh, this is a grand <laughs> chismo Let's Play. It's already guaranteed to get like a good amount of views because for some reason mm -hmm. Grand Chismo does really well on YouTube. I mean, well, I Gran mean, Turismo is like, is how popular again? Yeah, wait until you fuckers join me for GT4. Yeah. We'll, they'll be fine. You know who's got to join you for GT4? Everyone. Rhino, I want him oh, to mock God. you at every episode. No, I want Rhino yeah. to come in specifically on the last moments of the last endurance race so he can cry himself oh, to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> then Perfect. it can be like, guess who's back? Back again. Dr. Dre be the name. Still running the game. Shut up! I'm still not loving police. Nah, nah. Play the game. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> uh, my, my good friend Tim. Oh no! Play. This Alteza has interesting handling, i.e. it has non-handling. You know, none. just like a TVR, no. half the sign you went through. I think that sign it is right. magic. It I think it emits it doesn't have none handling, handling. It has all the handling. That was completely <laughs> my fault, by the way. It has none handling, so it drives like a nun. Oh, God. I think it's those ad fans. Get the rulers, ladies. Get the lady. Get the rulers, ladies and gentlemen. Emil's asking for it. Look at it. Yeah. It's just you go through a corner and then all of a sudden, hi tail. How you doing? It's an 8.6 reborn. That's not even a joke. I was thinking M2. 
No, no, no. no. The people behind this were the yeah, people one moment. for the driving dynamics of the Corolla 86. Oh, so. God. What, the BP craft true now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and it's just as lit. <laughs> <laughs> I still love the fact that that thing caught fire on its retirement race. Like, hey, we're going to give it a nice send off. I think it got into third place and then it just caught fire and it was the end of that. Died. And then they used an MRS and then they became relevant. I'll be right back. Yeah. I think I checked the thing. Like, I actually recognise some of the driver names because I think they used them for Forza. You know what else is a good name of a race car? Go on. Hmm? The freaking Forza Super Trofeo. God. Oh god. <laughs> oh yeah, isn't that the one that like showed up to one race, caught fire, and then they gave everyone it in Forza Horizon no, 3 he, and it the, didn't work? No, it's just like, half, it's now like halfway through the re season, it's like finished like one race. <laughs> oh god. I mean, I suppose that's better <laughs> well, than the Honda it's... NSX's. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. For every race it completes, I demand that we all get copies of Forza Motorsport 7. And for every additional race after, a DLC pack. If that thing finishes more, how many races are in the season that are left? I have no idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, number. Let me take a look at this schedule. My roll. Have a look at the schedule. Weather check. Oh, Angel, you said those trucks were quite expensive, right? Uh, I did. I give you the uh, Vespa. Nine four eight. Giorgio Armani, Giorgio Armani edition, which is ten thousand pounds for a moped. Yeah. Really? Yes. I find it like if your method of not getting cut, crushed and fucking killed. <laughs> I saw a road, moped on the road. By the other being day. loud, you fucked up with your choice of automobile. Do you know what the interesting thing? I haven't seen a moped in years, mostly because most teenagers around here are like too poor to afford them these days and have to go back to riding bicycles. I saw one the other day, I was like, oh my god, that's a moped, and within five seconds of being in its presence, I got reminded on why I hate them so much. It just sat there going, yeah. <laughs> Why do you think I have a motorcycle? There, there yeah, is... a, a real Because you may as well get crushed while dressed as a Power Ranger. There is four more races. All right. Four more chance. The, uh, the Super Sentai, get it right. All right. Here, here's my deal with you, Scotian. Hi, how you doing? If that thing finishes all four of those races, I will paint myself like the Forza Huracan and do a live stream <laughs> <laughs> of me running around painted as the Forza Huracan. You know what you need to do? Okay, okay. If you're gonna do that, I have a special request. Oh God. I want you to put a sponge on your forehead. Oh, uh, cut it to shape it like the... Cut it, dip it in, uh, soak it in paint, cut it to look like the Forza Motorsport logo, and just start headbutting things, and it'll stamp the Forza logo on everything. <laughs> What's the new Xbox co boss called? Phil Spencer? It's called the Xbox. Well, yeah, but Phil Spencer. What about Phil Spencer? I'll, I'll paint Get myself like the Forza Huracan and then scream praise Phil Spencer in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> there you go. That's my promise to you. If I think finishes the next four races, it's in. Races. No, no, no. Here's the thing. Odds are it's not going to do that. Exactly. So three races. I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a... Curses. Foiled again. Listen. I, I don't know. What race series does that Nissan GTR dressed as a Gran Turismo car going? If I can miss a video. Sure. Wasn't that GT3 or something? The Polyphony Nismo GTR. I, I think thing. so. I know it raced at the Nürburgring at some point. Because of course it's a fucking GTR. Well, yeah, duh. I mean, Kaz has, like, ruined 15 of his favourite GTR bed sheets just thinking about it. Yes. Yeah. Like, his bed sheets must literally just say GTR and then have a little UKIP symbol underneath them. A little UKIP. I don't know why, every time I see the GTR logo I associate it with UKIP now thanks to all the shit posts I've made. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, Torrent, have you not seen like my amazing Nissan 240SX shit post that I made in um, Forza? Oh yeah. What, you, you think GTR have ended and just say, get out of here you fucking immigrant? No, seriously, I, I, I'll... 
when this is loading, I will show you the uh, the amazing fucking shit post I made in the. Uh, <laughs> it is fucking, <laughs> fucking Horizon Three. It's the best. It's the most fuckboy thing I've ever made in my entire life. I will try and send you to you it quickly while we are doing this. I can go in the recording room because fuck it. Tell LRC I'll make an exception and let him in, by the way. No. <laughs> Anyways, Torrent, here you fucking go. Um. <laughs> that thing, oh yeah. Yeah. Right, so okay. I so I come back Holy to not only shit. you seeing the abomination I part, but also that. just coming back to realizing I left my Winamp music. <laughs> On, so I just come back to immediately just hearing YOU CAN'T TAKE CALIFORNIA WITHOUT ON GRAND ARS EYES Excuse me left? Oh, it's Boost, you scared him off, well done <laughs> Do you love the ARS stickers on that thing? He lasted half an episode Yeah <laughs> I scared him off by just shout. I, I just scared him off by shouting eyeless <laughs> Oh yeah, I have that in, in the car at the moment uh, yeah, friend of, was... A friend of mine just no sold it when he got it in the other day Lips. Oh, fuck my anus, I was supposed to tune the gear ratios on this thing. Yeah, my win at play is just cycling through all the songs I have on my computer, that was what happened to be playing at the time. Chrysler! Remember when Chrysler were relevant? Oh no! Nah, me neither. <laughs> yeah, but well, you just answered your own question there. Chrysler was relevant about fucking yes. seven years ago. Remember when Trizer was relevant? Remember when they made oh, the 300C no. <laughs> we, we were like, hey, that's not that bad a car, and that was the end of that. And then here comes the Chrysler Crossfire say, oh, no, Here fuck comes off. the Sebring. <laughs> the Sebring, official car of extremely average. No, Here's that car wasn't extremely got... average, it was extremely awful. I think Jeremy Clarkson said something on the line of, you must be so window-lickingly dumb to buy that over a Volkswagen Eos. They're You'd have to sign the order form in crayons because you're not allowed to touch pens. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> also, I'm not going to lie, I have raced around this track for 60 laps on GT2 today and I hate the sight of it right now. <laughs> Good. Oh, but, dear. but you've got it in high definition. Do you mean s standard definition but PS2 graphics, so we'll let it yeah. off. Well, currently it's, recording at, currently it's recording at 2 frames a second. Let's recording it to it's a recording. Three frames per second, actually. Yeah, welcome to having to do this through screen capture. I would do it through the fancy exploit, but I'm using bad internet or rather limited internet. So, so yeah. Potenza. Yeah. Bridgestone. I don't even know what a Potenza is. Uh, oh, yeah. Brand name for tires. I like it how they've just decided, like in the middle of this fictional track, let's just stick a load of adverts for people who are literally one car in this game, and that's it. Tickford. 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 The guys who have. You just have. You, you just have one car ad, and it's working for, for freaking like, I don't know. It's the Osrasley in um, Sopa car. Is all seen in either chats, by the way. Uh, no, uh, he's getting dinner, so... Okay. You know what would be really... You know what would be really I good... I told him we'll let him in next episode. Oh. Is my mic dead? No. Nah. I just realized, you know what would be a good single brand to, st to stick all over the freaking track? Go on. Morris. Opal. Gillette. Gillette. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just the one brand Vertigo, just... All over the place, you'll never be able oh, to escape. Oh, Gillet! I see what you mean. <laughs> I thought you meant Gillette as in, like, razors, I was gonna say. <laughs> well, do you want the best Dude, the man can that's get? All the Gillette, that's all the Gillette Vertigo has ever needed! Just make a front air dam just made out of Gillette razors! Oh, if Jesus. people don't get out of your way, they'll just get fucking The shamed. Gillette Vertigo is such an odd fucking atrocity. I think this, really, yeah, I think well. in this game it had like 400 horsepower, then somehow in Gran Turismo 4 they gave it 800 for no apparent reason. And it also became absolutely undrivable but at that point. Is that, the is that the best automotive atrocity that someone has come up with? No, I think the best automotive atrocity is the most Fox American Box. Skyline. Oh, the no. most American car ever made. No, no, no. The, the car with the best name ever. 
the Wigger. No, the Wigger W H Turbo. Yes. You do realize that uh, it's it's not actually called that. And Wigger is the name of the guy behind it. His name is Gary Wigger. Yes, he runs an so aeromotive company because automotive is too fucking normal for him. Mm -hmm. I'm calling it a Wigger. The Wigger. Wigger. Oh my god, I've got the perfect brand for him. If he ever, if he, I just realized, if Gary Wigger can't sell cars, he could probably sell wigs. Wigger's wigs. No, perfect. Jesus. But the freaking. No. But the freaking genius. That freaking. What's a freaking a very powerful engine and a three-speed on a mat. Three speed I have a very powerful transmission. Where did that together. transmission come from again? It was from like some shit box on it. It, 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 it was an automobile engine. Yeah, that was it. A frickin', yeah, the freaking Toronado. Yeah, a front wheel <laughs> exactly. drive Toronado. So they just stuck the whole powertrain, threw it in the back of a jet plane, rotated it sideways to make it mid-mount, and you're done. I think it was like a 7-litre V8 Chevy small block or something, it's just ridiculous. That's kind of And then ridiculous. just strap two twin turbos to it, strap a front-wheel drive transmission to it, there you go, there's a Vector W8 twin turbo! <laughs> oh yeah. And that's why it's such an awesome car. Why is Vector not in more games? That's the question. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I know, right? Because Vector is... I mean, let's be honest, Vector is dead. The only thing that they've got left to even show is that one freaking WX prototype making 2,000 horsepower and its top speed of 275, which isn't even unprecedented anymore. I think no. cars like the Hennessy Venom GT and Bugatti Chiron They've got something else to show for it. It's the W1. The what? fact that Lamborghini stole one of their cars and hasn't taken it back yet. <laughs> Really? What what did they do? Uh, what, basically, like Vector was in debt for Lamborghini for not giving them the money for the engines for the M12. So Lamborghini just popped around their offices and stole one of the M12s, and they've still got it. And ever no, I can I can believe. Wait, here's the here's the problem with that mentality. Um, Vector stole a lot more than that. The M12 was a rebodied Diablo. Yeah. You think they stole just the engine? They stole the whole damn thing. Angel, we haven't got to the best bit of the story yet. What? The um, <laughs> Vector took them to court for Lamborghini. They, I think they won, and Lamborghini said, "Yeah, we'll give the car back." And then they got bought out by Audi, and since then, Audi's refused to give them their car back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god! So there's just a Vector. He's in German, bro. So apparently, there's just a random Vector in the, uh, the place, uh, like in a Lamborghini museum or in the garage or something that just hasn't moved. That they've just got that it. That is so perfect. <laughs> That is so perfect. That's... So they just ran so off it and went... stole it. <laughs> that's basically. Right, we'll give you the car back. Basically... Get spot by Audi. No. So um, guys, thoughts. Um, Greg um, Carly is back. Oh yeah. He looks a bit fat. He looks exactly the same as he did. I think they cried. He doesn't. He looks fatter. Great Carly. They just why? Why did he come back? They froze him in the Adam Sandler film. I can't remember what it was called. They froze him in a cryogenics chamber in New York. What was that film called? Oh, that had Greg Carly in it. It had a bunch of wrestlers in it. It was a really good film, actually, as well. It had Adam Sandler and Burt Reynolds. It was about football. I think... Oh, uh... Yeah, something. Yeah, it had, like, Shaq. It had Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> Shaq. It had, um... The guy... The, uh, the main military commander out of The Rock who took a bunch of hormones and started feeling his tits in the middle of a football game. It was pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. I can't remember what it was called. Longest Yard. That was it. That was a fucking... Oh, that was a great We movie. should do that for HG Steak at some point because that was a fucking amazing film. <laughs> <laughs> it had the great Carly in it. He played football in it, if you can believe that. Well, yeah, that's the whole thing with The Longest Yard. Uh, it's just the football film. Yeah, I know, but it has Adam Sandler and Burt Reynolds in it, and the film literally I'm starts off with Adam Sandler writing off his girlfriend's Bentley, and that's why it's the greatest film ever made. <laughs> yeah! I'm amazed... I'm amazed... The, one, I'm amazed Kali even plays football. The guy can barely fucking walk. So, so uh, freaking... So... So John Cena should uh, reenact reenact that film and crash uh, Nikki Nikki's Bentley. Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh God, yeah, the one that was on the um, Auto Geek where oh, it's geek. like, well, it's a Bentley Continental Supersports. Oh, it's a convertible. Never mind. 
Because mm, of course it is. You can look, but you can't touch. She's supposed to be returning soon. I don't know why. Maybe she felt like it. I guess, I don't know. So, uh, oh, hey guys, how about that battleground? <laughs> how about California? All I can say is battleground was worse than the first one. Battleground was fucking shite. Good thing I didn't watch Honestly, it. Battleground is I. up there with Fastlane for being the worst of the year. Fastlane <laughs> was not that bad. Like, I'm sorry, Wait, Roman Reigns' shoes makes up for Fastlane. Battleground had shoes. nothing. Wait, Roman Reigns' shoes. Can you not remember what? Roman Reigns' shoes from that pay-per-view? It was like... That was Elimination Chamber, not Fastlane. No, it wasn't. Elimination Chamber, Reigns wasn't it. No, I'm talking about Torrin. Oh, right. Oh, oh Elimination Chamber was good, but Fastlane was... Well, it was the shit. No, but can you remember Fastlane where it was like Roman Reigns was wearing his vest and he had like white highlights in it, and then for whatever reason he was wearing full military gear, but he got rid of the boots and wore like some fucking Adidas black and white trainers for some reason. <laughs> and it like like so weird, and it's like wow, is he? I don't know, Shano Reigns. Uh, ooh, but yeah, excuse me. His shoes made up for it. Fastlane wasn't that bad. I can't remember what, ha what happened at Fastlane. Know. Goldberg versus Owens. That was kind of amusing. I, I don't know. I, I guess I guess I just don't remember it very well. Rusev and the Bomb very Show. Fondly. Um, I'd have to watch it again to to memorize myself. I guess. Braun Strowman versus Roman Reigns. That's where Roman went over Braun clean, which is a bit weird. A bit annoying. Um, I literally don't remember anything else about it. I think Battlegrounds probably worse than. To be fair, Money in the Bank wasn't very good either, yeah, so that for was, the males. That was, before, that was before the I'm not finished with you. I'm not finished with you yet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was before the greatest Twitter mashup of all time. <laughs> <laughs> what? The uh, I'm not finished with you to Braun Strowman's theme song. Mm. Yeah, because I think. Oh, shit. I heard a Discord notification. What up? Mm. I hear. Hey! What was it? No, oh, it's just someone added on the angel cover. It, it's just, it's just uh, Mako wanting to chat on the angel server. Hey, you should come over. Except, no, I don't know. Probably doesn't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 What's up? Firestone. Brimstone, oh. Firestone, Toyota, <laughs> Corolla. Hey, Angel. And the phone's remote, Corolla. Is he dead? Angel's dead. Ripping Angel. He got killed by the, the, the Dodge weird Dart. Factor, WA Twit Turbo. Dodge Dart killed him. The Super Stark. Ah, sliding. No, he got killed by the freaking non-existent uh, GLH version. So who's excited for Forza Motorsport 7, guys? Yeah. Uh, oh, be interesting to see. It'll be good. It's, all, it's gonna be shit. Hey yeah. guys, who's excited for Gran Turismo 8? And before you say anything, Kaz has confirmed Gran Turismo 8, so... I mean, everyone expected that, just like everyone expected Forza 7. Yeah, but the only difference is Forza 8's going to come out in three years' time. Grand Turismo 8's going to come out when we're all dead. <laughs> yeah. And the apocalypse has taken over. And the world will have been taken over, not by aliens, but by sentient Nissan Skyline GTR R34's V-Specs. 2, Nur, Midnight Purple, 3. <laughs> all of them will raise up. Tuna. Yes, Tuna. The R34 is quite an interesting car, actually. Meh. I forgot. It's not, it's not American enough for you, is it? No. I like the Mustang 2 King Cobra. Do you know what would be interesting? Uh. If Ford turned around and made like this. The Mustang, like they've got the moment if they made a full cylinder special edition, just called it the King Cobra. 
They should make the King Cobra, but I actually like it faster. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> they should make the King the Cobra, but not shit. <laughs> I like how on this. You know? I like how on this phone there's an option for like the autocorrect. There's two, you can have it off, mild, or aggressive. Oh, maybe I'll <laughs> like it raw. Aggressive. You you didn't put in that comma. <laughs> <laughs> I'M NOT that FINISHED WITH COMMAS! That full stop isn't where That full stop shouldn't be there! I like how bad Are the you gearing sure that was a question? <laughs> I like the gearing is diabolical. So you just like, you spell, a word, you spell a word wrong and the freaking grammar police comes in and freaking beats you with, with their batons. Yes. <laughs> That's racist! That's racist. Oh. They don't use batons anymore, they use cattle prods. They don't just use cow pods, they also use rifles. I am electric. I, I, I want to see an oxymoron where the freaking there, there's gonna be a freaking another trim level called the King, called the Mustang King Cobra, and it's faster than a GT 350R. Wasn't there like the Super Snake, which is kind of a similar thing? The Super Snake was like 2012. <laughs> was the Super Snake and even anything other than a trim package? Uh, the Super Snake was a very powerful car. I remember the, the Shelby 1000. Which was uh, the, su the Super Snake is like the GT500, but with more power. Who? Hey. So, so it was a GT1000? Yeah, pretty much. Because you can never have enough power in a Mustang, because either way, the crown's gonna die. Ooh, ah. Uh... <laughs> no. Well, I mean, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, ah, ouch. The Mustang, the Roman Reigns of this world, crushing crowds, dreams. <laughs> crushing their dreams. <laughs> By crushing them. And then the freaking the, uh, Dodge Challenger Hellcat comes in and is like, I'm not finished with you. So the Hellcat is the Braun... I guess that makes sense. You know what they should make? What? A Dodge Dart Hellcat. <laughs> yeah. Or Dodge Neon Hellcat, actually, fuck it, because may as well make the Fiat Tipo into 707 <laughs> horsepower with some fuck. I don't see how any how they want anyway. Hopefully SRT actually does something with the Neon. Yeah. Unlike the fucking Dart. I don't think Fiat's doing anything with the Tipo at the moment, but that's because they're trying to sell the Tipo as basically like... Well, actually, the reason the Tipo's selling so well is because it's like, this is a practical mid-sized car, it costs as much as a Fiesta. Ah. But, but it's also terrible. It's not terrible, fucking, it's just not very amazing. But that's in fucking Europe, this is in North America where power is everything. Yeah, but I mean, they'll just put the 2.4 litre Tiger Shark in it and that's enough. Yeah, pretty much. And then take it rally crossing. I hope SLT does something well with it, I'd love to see a scat pack. They won't. <laughs> so, um... Oh, Emil, yeah. this will this will make your um, balls very happy. It, my great balls will turn on fire. <laughs> Alpina B7 bi turbo has been revealed. 600 yes. horsepower and it will do over 200 mile an hour. What's the B7 yes. again? A, it's a BMW 7 series tuned by Alpina. Yeah. I like BMWs and I like Alpinas, but yeah, I say I like BMWs. I don't like BMWs, but Alpinas is slightly better. Not as that Alpinas is. are cool because technically they class them as like. They were in separate vehicles, which is interesting. How does Z8 do a party? Oh yeah, there was like an Alpina Z8 one. Z8, which yeah. they to make it into a cruiser. Yeah. It's like, why? It's what was the entire point? It's the car from James Bond, it just needs to get cut in half and that's the end of it. It did get cut in half though. It didn't film, not the Alpina though. Or the owl snow. <laughs> Turn the owl snow credits. video games. <laughs> video games? What are those? Oh my god, no, is this not see. over yet? <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Altezza Championship's so boring. I think the next championship's like quick. Like, there's nothing to it. Someone died. Um, Angel. Reppin' Angle. Angly. Mm. Angly died. So until I just they can bring him in here by the way. Yeah. No. No. You don't want I just? Nah. 
Nah. Oh, no. Bro, he's 12 years old. Nah. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. The more the merrier. It doesn't bother yeah. me. Oh my god, that Altez is getting bullied. <laughs> oh, I just turned my face and the, 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 like, the green Altez was like, start going sideways and then all of a sudden everyone's just like, well, I want that space in the road now, so fuck you, cunt. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to Monte Carlo. Where the beaches are blue and the sky is yellow. Wait, what? I want to go to Monte Carlo one day. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Oh, hey, Persia lad. Yeah, Persia lad. That's how you know you're in Monte Carlo right there. Persia. More Persia. Mania. And of course, Mugen are advertising here. Because I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, Monte Carlo Mugen. is the home of the Mugen Beats. Nature you think? And. I like how, like, the city skyline kind of looks more like a slum than a nice place. <laughs> it's like, welcome to Rio de Janeiro. You're gonna get stabbed. Morris. Peugeot! Why is Peugeot the main advertiser of Monte Carlo and Honda? Because I... Isn't this the place where, like, Taki Inu, like, made his debut or something? I remember this being, like, notable in the history of Taki Inu. Fucking the only man Never in history to get ran over in, by in the history of Taki and Nui. Everything. Still got ran over by the pace car and it's fucking brilliant. Yep. Elf. Yes, Elf is. I can't. Isn't Elf like That's something to do Renault's with Renault? Thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's Renault's thing. Oh, you're gonna stick Elf stickers on that Cleo. I'd rather die. Loser. I think I've seen someone who did that once and then he put like a picture of fucking, um, what's his face? James Dean. No, the guy out of the movie Elf and he actually stuck like a literal picture of that like, Elf on the back windscreen. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? I've, <laughs> had, a new, oh, I've had a new life idea. Oh no. Oh yes. That sounds awful. I just realised, seven fucking laps? Oh. <laughs> Oh. oh god, that's oh. solid, oh. apparently. Uh, oh, excuse me. wall was liquid. Note to self, solid walls are solid. I thought they were liquid. Wow. This Altezza is literally one of the worst driving cars I've driven in this LP. It is so awful. Like, all it wants to do is just go, like, crab ways. Can't be as bad as the Peugeot. Oh god, don't remind me of the 206. That thing I'm was, I mean, that thing was awful. Yeah. That was fun. That was really funny. It's like, hey, no one picks this car. I'm gonna <laughs> pick it. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm like, I'm gonna do accurate upgrades to make it so you people at home can build this exact car. And it's like, no, don't ever. By do By the end of it, you, you were just ready to fucking sacrifice your life to Satan to get it over and done with. Yeah. Mm. I'm always ready to sacrifice myself to Satan. Well, yeah. Seems like a good meme. Not a meme. You know what? Did you just say you know what I mean? No, it's not a meme. All oh, right. I was gonna say if you said I know, if you know what I mean, I was gonna stab you repeatedly. If I if I ever said that, I'd stab myself. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. Right there is literally nothing interesting to say about Monte Carlo. <laughs> No. It's just hilly. Oh! It's just hills. That's all it is. It's just hills. What games actually have Monte Carlo other than the F1 games? No idea. Stuntman. Because this play. technically isn't Monte Carlo because it, they have to call it like some silly name to get around the licensing. Cote d'Azur. Mm -hmm. That's the one. It's actually, it is actually called Cote d'Azur track. I know, but they couldn't get the licensing to call it uh, Monte Carlo, so... No. I mean, Monte Carlo's cool. Yes. This tunnel's not... I don't know what the F1 cars just fuck themselves on that corner coming out there, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You see, it doesn't seem like a very F1-focused track, considering like most of these corners are like slow speed, and it's like high downforce. How are you not doing? I guess there's boats and prostitutes, so I guess it's kind of f one <laughs> Boats and prostitutes. Well, that's literally the F1 lifestyle, isn't it? Not boats and prostitutes. Yeah. Yeah. 
You're a prostitute. I mean, especially double die yeah, if you're Lewis Hamilton. He drives a Mercedes, apparently. Yes, he does. He is a Mercedes man. Um, before he actually drives like a fucking light. <laughs> Mercedes. He drives a he drives a lightweight. Besides, just drives a Mercedes Vito van for no reason. Well, Mercedes Vito. Vito. Yeah, fucking hell! Oh, the V class. No, not the V class. Oh, speaking of weird Mercedes, I found something out the other day. Oh. Does anyone what? remember the Mercedes R class? Oh, no. fuck me, that thing. Yeah. Did you know about like the special edition of that? Well, there was a special edition. They did an AMG version with a 5.5 V8. <laughs> what? The uh, search in Mercedes R500 AMG. You'll R63. See. Oh. Yes, R63. That was it. <laughs> I think it was something like that. Uh, Welcome why? to the world's fastest, ugliest thing. <laughs> why is this a thing? <laughs> it's simultaneously the worst and best thing in the world. It was called, it was basically a shooting break. The R class was just like, why? It, it, you call it, you might call it a shooting break. I call it a piece of shit. You might call it a shooting break. I call it a shoot me now. <laughs> Those things are like super cheap though. You can like, oh, hey, move that anywhere. notification noise. Move what? Angel into the recording room. But, bro. Oh, you've got a massive lead. Just fucking pull right, over. Right, now I'm not going to pull over. I'm going to try and do this one-handed. I'm used to doing one-handed driving. Hello. There we go. Hey, Hi, hey, hey. Hey, hey. You only hit one Sorry. more. Sorry about that. I'm kind of like... I I'm kind of being having to hop around real quick. I can't, I'm not even on my computer at the moment. Cool. Uh oh. Cool. We're just saying about the Mercedes R-Class and how they made an AMG version. Because why the fuck Which not? Is, I, I, I approve of this. Yes. I approve of all these 3D people watching. Yay! They all we came out to see... They all came out to see the <laughs> amazingness of a Toyota Altezza Cup. Oh, yes. Have you seen literally how oh. much of a lead I have on everyone else? I need to reopen this well, up. I'm going to go ahead and look for it. 41 seconds. Besides, I like to... I like I like Toyota shape, Altezza shaped cups. These are great. I should have just used the AS two hundred for this, for like no reason, but no one. Yeah. A B C D E F G. You're getting the RS two hundred. It doesn't matter. Not that RS two hundred. That RS two hundred's interesting. This one's more. Right, let's see it. If... Holy crap! Yeah. Firefox on my. Phone allows me to use this thing, and I can actually. Um... That doesn't oh sound God. too bad for a phone mic, actually. Yeah, here's the concern. I can't disable the. Um, let's see. I'm gonna appear in, and yeah, my mic, my my, uh, my uh, webcam is on. I don't know how to turn it off from this. There we are. Ah, I can see you. Nice off. PC, ah. bro. I mean, nice. but don't get. I can't turn it off. Don't get too There's excited. A background carbon fiber does not make your computer lighter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can all have to uh, criticize. I can't Ager's turn this off. I mean, what's wrong with my PC? Nothing. I can't even see your screen. It's not loading in. I'm in a dilemma at the moment. By the way, huh? I got paid, and I'm almost tempted to buy PC parts. <laughs> don't. You what the hell? I PC. can't buy nothing. I'm almost tempted. Why would you buy PC parts for a PC you never really, you know, utilize? Well, I was gonna just stick a power supply and a graphics card in it and be like, well, hey, it's oh shit, it's son. Future -proof. I mean, if you got a here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's prices the thing. are still completely fucked because of uh, Ethereum mining, and while prices are dropping down for that because it's tanked, oh. you're still gonna pay an arm and a leg. Just get a 1050 Ti. Yeah, exactly. That's what I that. want. No, I'm not buying like anything major. That money well, can go. I'm gonna buy a GTX so. 1070. I'm gonna buy a GTX 1070 
when it's available. The, the most I'm going to get is a 1050 Ti. I just want one Euro truck while looking Speed, at the foliage. Well, then you wouldn't really need a power supply. It'd be mm. nice, but, I mean, if you're getting a power yeah, supply, but, you might like, as well get a good power supply. Oh, that's an interesting thing, because, like, this lot in HD were like, oh, you need a power supply to get a 1050 Ti. But I'm fairly certain you've said that you don't have to. No, don't because need. they can run off the 795 watts of the freaking PCI Express power. Some have yeah. additional plugs, but not all of them do, and you can want, and you're not going to get one that has the plug, you know, for exactly. particular obvious reasons. Well, shit, I might get you to scout me all out, and I might just buy it then. Oh, sweet, sure. I would. I do have a. I do live a little bit of a catch. I take a 25% cut up front. Well then. Well. <laughs> oh god. Oh, speaking of. Parts and cuts and whatnot. Torrent, you're gonna get a kick out of this. Have you seen the rumors for Intel Coffee Lake? Yes, they're already coming. Yeah, and here's the most important one. From the look of it, it's still gonna be LGA 1151. What's the I can point? upgrade my shit. What? They are seriously trying to compete with AMD now. Yeah, I know, and I benefit from this, which makes me happy. Welcome to the weird part of the Let's Play where it becomes tech talk and no one understands what's going on. And I have a lead of over <laughs> a minute over the other Altezza. Nice. Hi, I'll people who don't understand tech. Hi, Tom. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll... Don't worry, I'll make it... I'll, oh, I'll, no! I'll make it... I'll make it... <laughs> oh, God, what the... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, oh, no! <laughs> you lost your one-minute like, lead. Slightly. It's like your... It's like the tech talk destabilized your car. Fucking everything destabilizes this car. It is shocking. You can do the rest of the fucking race in reverse and still win. It is just awful. I, hey, exactly I grew my lead by is. five seconds by spinning out. <laughs> nice. We've done over a hundred miles in our Altezza. What do we think of it overall? It's crap. I, I do you know what the but, sneaky? Uh, you know what the issue is though. I did take a look right. at the price car list, and I'm fairly certain there is just like a random stock Altezza on there, and I've got a funny feeling that I'm gonna end up with that. Oh, you are. And it'll be like, dear god, why? 109.4. And we're Yay. just about to finish this ridiculously long race up. I don't know why it was as long as it was, but there we go, across the line! Ugh! <laughs> Um, and we won. Twelve minutes, Jesus. Oh, the yellow Altezza came last overall. Oh well. Are we getting are we getting LRC in from the next episode by the way? Are we getting what? LRC. Yeah, if he's in the thing. Good. I'll take anyone. Provided they don't have like an appalling microphone. Wow, all that for thirty thousand credits bonus. Nice. Here we go, guys. Prize car. What are we gonna get? Vits. I see a vit. Oh no. No. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Wow. Why? Oh, I right. oh, I was gonna say. Did I guess right? Oh God, you didn't. You got the Altezza freaking LM box. It's car. not the vit. Oh, damn. Thank God. <laughs> car. The LP ruining meme car. Yes, I haven't got that, <laughs> thankfully. Don't no worry. But what, like, Rhino got four times in a row? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 597 horsepower. Also, the wheels right. have changed colour for some reason. It's the fastest It's the fastest um, LM car you're going to get in the game. I think it needs Super Advance. What, the Altezza? <laughs> no. Let's not put the Super Advance on literally everything. Yet. Oh. Anyways, look at it. It has no headlights. That's a car. It is a car that exists. Mm -hmm. I bet it's better than this piece of crap. But... Piece of crap. Yes. Anyways, we are now up to 66.2% game status. Yay! Woo! Yay! Anyways, next Stay time us. on Grand Chismer 2, we're going to be taking a look at the Type R meeting. So join us for that. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, farewell. Yeah.